spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Spirit, spirit, twice, and freedom. Each and every one of us are a reflection of the purity of spirit that is described in every religion. I take nothing away from any religions or any creeds or any dogmas. They are all perfect in their own description, in their own way of being. And there are so many because there are so many of us and we see it in so many different ways. And thankful, thankful that there are, so that we can all find our own way through life, our own way of seeing, our own way of being, our own way of finding our freedom. The beauty of this statement with spirit and spirit and freedom in Corinthians is this law of freedom dissolves the separation between us by having us honor and respect each other's free will and power of choice. Gosh, if, if there was just a little more honor and respect for each other's free will and power of choice, how many wars, most of them, over just the choice of religion? Religion, philosophy, dogma, creed, their design bring us together and to remember who we truly are, to set us free, to experience the fullness of who we are. No matter what we choose, we're all being set free by the universal truth. We have to recognize we have perception and our individual belief, but it is part of the greater story. I know <laughs> it, synchronicities are always interesting to me. Nearly every time I get on a plane, I get seated next to uh, a Mormon, a Southern Baptist, a Jehovah's Witness. <clears throat> I'm not picking on anybody, but I'm a metaphysician. And so I see things very differently than these more orthodox approaches. And yet, I have found that by, by being open and free in the way that I speak, with honor and respect and pay attention and notice, listen and respond from a place of universal truth, not using words or descriptions that might on or pull on a religion or a dogma or a creed and speak that language of spirit that is woven into and through all philosophies, all religions, I'll walk off the plane, no matter what religion, a new friend. And here, if you were to compare our philosophies or our religions and our dogmas or our creeds independent from the interaction that we were having, you might, as a theologian or, or a scholar, see a clash. And yet, when the heart and soul is free and a choice is made to be, and you choose to be with one another in that open space of compassion, understanding, acceptance, kindness, respect, honor. These are the characteristics that make life what it is, makes it meaningful, brings us fulfillment. And yet it seems as if we're fighting with ourselves, much less each other, when it comes to these things, holding so tight to what we believe must be, shutting down our freedom not giving ourselves a chance to just be more of who we are. Although it matters to each and every one of us what we choose and what we believe, our whole heart and its unconditional love, our soul and its spirit doesn't know the difference. It doesn't care about the words it doesn't care about the descriptions. In fact, the thousand paths at the base of the mountain, all very different, are meant to lead us to a point, the very peak, the highest point, that allows for us to live 
from our heart and soul. Remember our unity and oneness with each other and not our differences. To hold respect for the differences, but not, not to push or forsake or judge. To literally practice, practice who we truly are. And to be able to find that connection between us that makes a difference. Know that you have an opportunity in every moment to choose. In every moment to be who you really are. And to know that your truth that you choose to be sets you free. Let us on this day recognize how powerful the law of freedom is as we choose to allow what it means to each of us, to our lives, to influence how we choose, how we choose to be, how we see each other, and that no matter how we choose or what we choose, believe or express we are one in the unity of the truth that all roads all religions all philosophies lead to the fulfillment of our soul's expression and purpose the decision is not what to choose it is to choose with all your heart and soul what your love and light draw you to believe, express, experience, and be the highest and best of yourself with and for each other, the world, and all that is. Let us, as we begin this year, Look to the law of freedom to choose. To choose wisely, not from our mind, not from our emotions, not from our physicality or circumstances or situations. Let us choose in freedom from our heart and soul to experience the freedom that is offered, that our truth sets us free into being and then to step out and share it with one another. Those that find it can remind those that can't. Those that are living it can remind those who want to. And we can all just rise above everything that's going on and choose to be together in a way that makes a difference. This country of the United States is founded on freedom. And not all of us living where we are are able to experience that as easily. And yet, I assure you, we each can choose to create it within us, share it between and among us, and make a difference. Talks like these are offered on Sundays at Sarasota Center of Light, peaceful meditation on Wednesdays and healing classes, fellowship, so much. I'm the pastor there at Sarasota Center of Light, and I invite you to come and experience the embrace and the freedom to be you or at our spiritual center and education center and metaphysical church, we don't tell people how to live or what to believe. We hold a space, a sanctuary for them to find their truth and be it. If you want to know a little bit more about that, there's a lot of information at www.sarasotacenteroflight.com. If you'd like to connect with me, do not hesitate to email me at revjim T O O L E at gmail.com. My information is also on the website. 
absolutely do what I can to support you on your path to freedom, to truth, to living your life more fully. Reverend Jim, Pastor Jim, yeah, but the reason this show is what it is, it's just Jim. And that's why we're here. Sharing who we are, what we've experienced, a little bit of inspiration that moves through us, and a remembrance that we are all one together on our individual and yet joined roads, these paths of the base of the mountain that lead to one, our freedom, our fulfillment, our peace, our love, our joy, all that we truly are and get a chance to experience and share. Have an amazing life. God bless you. Be well. And know that you, through the law of freedom, have a choice to be who you feel you're guided to be, to know your truth, to express it, experience it, share it, and use it as a vehicle to make a difference in your life and those who you love and know and in the world as we all find our freedom and choose to live within it. God bless.